Girl here with another vintage haul video from the flea market. I uh, didn't get a whole bunch of stuff today, but um, just a few interesting little pieces. And I will, as usual, start with the jewelry. Um, this was the coolest piece of jewelry I bought. This is a Victorian brass openwork pin. It's very detailed, very beautiful work. It's got the C clasp on the back, and I uh, got that for $9, so that seemed like a pretty good deal. And then I got this ring, which is, it is sterling silver marcasite, and I forget what that green stone is, um, chalcedony maybe? But anyway, this is very Art Deco, 1920s to 1930s. Um, it doesn't have any marks on it, but if it did, they'd probably be worn off because that band is worn pretty thin. It's been, this was a loved, loved ring. It's a pretty small size, too, because it fits me. But anyway, I paid $20 for that. I didn't, she, she was asking 40 and I was like, oh, you know, no thanks, and I put it down, and she says, well, well, what did, you know, shoot me an offer, and I said, no, I think we're too far, too far apart. I really wanted it for 15, but um, she says, well, you know, just give me a try, and I said, okay, 20 bucks, because I didn't think she'd take it, and then she says, mm, how about 25, and I said, 20 is really the highest I can go, and she said, okay, so I ended up with a ring for $20. I, I think I can probably sell it for about 65 to 75 maybe. I forget. I had one real similar to this that I sold. Uh, and that's it for the individual pieces of jewelry. Um, my two people that I normally buy from, one of them just didn't have her dollar jewelry out that day, so uh, I didn't buy from her. And the guy that I always buy all the turquoise from couldn't find him. I don't know if he wasn't there or I just couldn't find him. So, But I did buy a, a big box of jewelry. There's this and this for $20. Um, everything, uh, this is the stuff that's really kind of broken junk jewelry. I've already, I've already sorted it all out. Um, this is stuff that needs to be repaired or at the very least I just need to add a chain or something like that. So there's some pretty cool stuff in there. There's like a really neat cloisonne pendant, great big old thing. That's kind of fun. Um, this big long swank tie clip. I thought maybe I'd try to replace the stone because it's missing. Um, but yeah, for the, there, um, I, I had started to pick through it and pull out a few things and the guy said, all that jewelry is a dollar a piece or you can have it all for $20 and I thought, I'll just get it all. It'll be fun to get through. So, um, I think I'll do okay. I got, um, you know, like one of these pearl collars. I always am able to sell these for like uh, between $15 and $20. Maybe more like $15. Um, they're from the 1950s. And I uh, got a whole bunch of 1980s, you know, big, big clip-on earrings like these. Um, I got... This is kind of pretty. This is faux turquoise. It's probably howlite. Uh, but that's nice. You know, I can probably sell that for maybe, I don't know what I can sell that for, $18 or, or more. Um, and there's some, some of these cloisonne bangle bracelets. They're a hard sell, but I, I thought I might just sell them as a lot. Um, yeah, those are pretty earrings. Most everything in here is unsigned, except there's a, there's a few swank couplings, like those are swank, those are pretty. Um, yeah, it's, it's mostly not great, not great. Oh, I like this, <laughs> enamel butterfly pin. This is this is a really nice quality, very heavy, but I don't think it has a, uh, there's 
some kind of mark on there. Like a zigzag. No, I think I've seen that mark before. I don't, you may not be able to see it, but on the wing there's like a little zigzag mark. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Um, this is um, Emmons in the mid-century. That's a pretty pen. And then this Some kind of 1988 Solix is what it says on it. And it's, I only found one thing on eBay and it was some kind of a Star Trek pen. I couldn't really find out much about this. It's plastic and it's got, it's made out of like a computer circuit board. I just thought it was kind of cool. Oh, um, what's this? Oh, this is a, that's a Monet pen. Um, there's a silver plate spoon ring. That's kind of fun. There's a, <laughs> a perfume flask on a cord. I don't really know too much about that. Oh, these are neat. These are some, like, Lucite clip-on dangle earrings. Look at the size of those things. And those are enormous. Those are fun. That's pretty much the high points. That's kind of a neat rhinestone bracelet. That's, that's I think, mid-century era. There's a, a couple of, of decent strands of uh, glass pearls. They're, um, they're knotted. Yeah, those are pretty nice. They're not marked, though. I got this lighter. Oh, there. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Got some, some stuff to craft with and, and pull rhinestones from also. Okay, uh, moving on to the non-jewelry. I got another one of these uh, Mount St. Helens Ash paperweights by Roger Vimes. This one's dated... Uh, uh, 84 or 89? I think it's 84. Uh, I, I, I have sold one of these recently. I think it sold for, I want to say, in like $28 or something like that. Um, I paid 10 for this one. And I, this is a Murano glass frog. Isn't he cute? Really pretty, subtle, blue and gold colors. There's the mark. I paid, well I paid 20 for the two of these. So like maybe 15 for that one and 5 for this one. This is a nice Milfiori. You know, a smaller size. Um, this one is not marked, but I think it's probably Murano just because how the base is so mirror smooth and just the quality of it, but who knows. Okay, that's all the glass. I got this flask. This is a pewter. Uh, it says Sheffield Rose English Pewter, and I have not looked it up, so I don't know. It's got a um, trout fishing guy on one side and a trout on the other, and I paid $10 for that. I might have overpaid for that. I haven't looked it up, I'm afraid to. Uh, then I got this little beaded antique coin purse. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Just really, really tiny, tiny beads on that, and it's got a little push button clasp right there. Oh, sorry, I know my, na my nails don't look so good. I did just get back from the flea market a little while ago, and I'm just a mess. Uh, the inside is lined with uh, probably kid leather. That's, that's old, and that was $5. Fuck. Uh, I got some brass. I... I'm not sure if this is a cigar 
cutter or a wick trimmer. I'm not sure. They, those two things look a lot alike, and I'm not sure how you tell the difference. I'll have to figure it out. But this is Mark Germany, and uh, it was only $2. Got some opera glasses. These are um, Chevalier Paris, probably Victorian. I've sold a couple of other pairs very similar to this in material, but they had a different design. They had birds on it. This just has a, just like a Victorian scrolls and things. It's missing a little screw right there in the center that kind of, that, that you focus with. It's not going to focus without it. But I think most people buy these for the looks of them and not to use. Um, I may see if I can get that screw replaced, but these were $10, and that's, uh, in good repair, these will sell for at least $75. Um, missing that screw may be $50. I'm, I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, let's see, I got three things for $5 from this one guy that's just, he's always real nice. He always gives me good prices on things. Um, so these th three things were $5. This is, um, kind of sheep shears maybe, but this is old cast iron. It's not marked at all. It's hand forged. Pretty cool thing. Pretty neat primitive. And then I got um, flower frog. And this says uh, number 81 daisy needle sharp flower holder. These are really cute to sit around and you can put photographs in them or postcards. You can decorate with them that way. And then the third thing is this little uh, serving dish of some kind. Silver plate. I thought it was kind of interesting looking. I'm hoping that it will shine up a bit and look more presentable. And um, this is I think it's Rogers. I've heard, I I did look at it, but it's really hard to see. Trademark E. B. Rogers Silver Company. Something. Yeah, it's really hard to see. But anyway, that was kind of cute. Looks pretty old. Oh, I found another piece of jewelry. <laughs> I forgot about this. I bought this little mesh necklace for three dollars. No mark on it. It's got a nice clasp, a little fold over clasp on it. That's probably like a 1950s piece. Uh, I've got this little doggy for a dollar. He was really cute. Um, he's marked UK. So I don't know anything about him, but I just thought he was cute. Um, let's see. I got this unusual ruler. It's an Interlox Master Rule Manufacturing Company, Inc., New York, patent pending. I like how it has, like, see the little hand it has on it? It's just such a cute, um, kind of a Victorian. But this is the kind of ruler that it doesn't swivel back and forth. It opens like that. So, it's really nice one. That was, well, I got these two things for $15. So, I got that, and then I got this clamp. It's like this. I thought it was brass when I bought it, but when I got home and started looking at it, um, it may just be brass plated. Something else, because I can see a lot of silver. But it does say Law Bell's Patent Pending. And it's, I don't know, I just like it. I like hardware. Ah, I got this beautiful silver overlay um, amethyst glass bottle with a stopper for $10. Don't know too much about that. I just thought it was pretty. But, I got this thing 
Anybody know what it is? I don't know what it is. Some kind of kitchen utensil. It has both sides are sharpened. And it says, I have not looked it up yet, D. Carmichael Maker, S-A-C, U-S-A. Um, but anyway, I paid two dollars for that. Oh, this is cute. This is, I got two wooden jigsaw puzzles. And that's the first one. Isn't that adorable? And then, that's the second one. And I got them both for five dollars. And I just think they're adorable. I think they probably date from the 20s. Uh, let's see, there is a signature here. It says, oh, Eggles Eggleston. I think that's a pretty well-known artist that this uh, art is based on. I don't see that the other one is signed. But, but hey, they came with half a box. <laughs> Five dollars for the two of those. Uh, got some of these jewelry boxes. I find these very handy for packaging jewelry, and uh, they're 15 cents a piece. So I got, I don't know how many, I got 20 or so. Might last me till next month. God, what happened to this sofa? Um, let's see. Then I got some art. I got, oops. This, which according to the label on the back, is a, a genuine original French etching imported from Paris, made entirely by hand, no mechanical process used. It is uh, signed by the artist, and oops, there's the back. So it's got some age, I'm not sure, you know, I don't know, I'll have to do some research on it. The, the artist, I can't read, has a K in it, starts with an M, Munziker, something like that. But anyway, I thought that was awfully pretty. Uh, I paid $25 for both of these. And this one is an original watercolor. It is signed by Virginia Myers, 1911. I don't know if you can see that. But it uh, looks like maybe a Venice scene, I think. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not Venice. I'm not sure what it is. But I thought it was really pretty and I thought the price was right, so. Yay. And I will be cursing myself when I have to ship that to someone. The little one won't be so bad, but that one's going to be awful. But anyway, I'll be happy to do it. So that's it. That's my haul. Thanks for watching. These things are or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com or on eBay where my seller name is Carol Lennox. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't, and I will be back soon with another haul video. Thanks. Bye.